Hello. Welcome back. Right, a little bit of a weird video today. I'm going to call this one the good, the bad, the channel update. Uh, because I've got a little bit of good news. Well, I think it's good news anyway, personally. Um, a little bit of unsettling news. And just a general update of the channel. Right, so. Kind of good news, but it starts off a little bit. Um, do you remember, of oh, course, months ago now, um, I got an old analog amp off my brother it was a Kenwood uh, and it had a really lovely rich sound um, the right channel started going I thought some of the records I was playing sounded a little bit funny and then I'm trying to twiddle twiddle the uh, the dial you know the uh, channel selector you know CD phono whatever and yeah the right channel was like farting and spurting and sounding dreadful so I thought to myself now do I go out and get uh get the amp repaired or do I go and treat myself to a new amp so I started looking on eBay I started looking online at some amps and a certain one caught my eye it was a Sony amp and it's a Sony um, RDH 190 now the two things that really really attracted me to it was a it was quite powerful uh, 100 watts per channel not that I'm into really loud music, mind, but I don't know. I just got this thing that I just like to have it on low volume and it still gives a nice punchy sound. Whether that's relevant or not, I'm not sure. It's just me. And also, you can connect and play through Bluetooth straight off your phone, off your device. Now, the MP3s I have on my phone are all 320 KBS, so they're high quality MP3s. I'm a bit fussy like that, you know. Um, I like them to be a nice, full sounding MP3 like CD quality or more so I decided to go for it and I must admit I quite liked it but something was lacking in music and after a long 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 time um, I decided it was probably about time I had a speaker replacement uh, because the TDLs that I have and loved for a long, long time, them big floor standers, you know, you've seen them many times in my videos, um, they were fantastic for when I was into home cinema. Um, it was my left and right, my main speakers, uh, my 5.1 surround system, which I no longer want. I do love surround sound, I love all that. I quite like going to the cinema and having the experience. I'm quite happy to just watch it coming out the telly. And at some point, I may invest in a sound bar. Um, but that remains to be seen, you know. Um, so anyway, I thought the TDLs, which they were TDL KV6s that I got from Richer Sounds, probably about oh, 10 years ago now, maybe. They just wasn't that refined for music. And yes, you know, it sounds amazing and big and full, but there was always something missing, I felt. So I started looking online and um, a, a pair of speakers that kept coming back to me were these Morden Shaw MS914s. I don't know if any of you have heard of uh, these particular speakers. Um, I don't even think they make them anymore, but, you know, they were a solid speaker a few years ago. Um, they're floor standers. So I was having a little look. Obviously, couldn't buy them new, but I found a set on eBay. I found two sets, actually, but one was right up in Wirral, up near um, Liverpool. Liverpool. Or Reading which is still a fair old way from here, you know, right around the M25. Um, but we got a reasonable price on them. Um, I've done a lot of reviews, read a lot of reviews and see what people thought. And they're a good all-round music speaker. So I won some on eBay and shot off to Reading this year and picked them up. Picked them up. Wow, they weigh loads. They've got sand in them. Yeah, yeah, they are. I've only played them a little bit off my phone. I haven't played any vinyl shit on it. Um, I'm having that experience this afternoon. But the songs that I played off my phone were incredible. So, so much more going on. I think I played a little bit of Madness, a little bit of Beatles, The Kinks, and I played uh, Back to Black, uh, Amy Winehouse. 
again, I was hearing stuff I hadn't heard before. So obviously I know I've got a Riga Planner 1, so the vinyls are going to sound nice. I'm very happy with the amp. And it was a mid, it was quite a budget price amp, really. I think 150 quid. So I don't know, 200, two and a half hundred dollars, I think, in the States. I'm not sure about the conversion. Um, but so far, so good. So this afternoon, I'm going to have a little play on some vinyl. So hopefully the next video I'll do, I'll be able to give you a little bit more of an update. So as of at the moment, I've got two new Malden short speakers and a new amplifier, so everything's good in the hood on that regards. Music sounded nice, and I'm itching to get into some playing some records on it, like I said, which I'm going to do today. Right, the not so good news tomorrow, as you're very aware, is the 10th of December, and YouTube is rolling out its new terms of service that can allow them to shut down accounts that don't make enough money. So all these little channels, that some people don't do it for money, some people just do the videos and, ha and rely on Patreon, some people just do it because they love making videos and connecting with people, and some people do run ads on their channel. Um, the site's new terms suggest that unpopular accounts and those that are otherwise not commercially viable could be removed from the platform along with their videos. So they've given us the terms of service. So if you're not making YouTube any money, I guess they can just delete your channel. Now, I don't know if it's going to affect us or not, but it doesn't sound very good. Commercially viable. Now, I used to have adverts on the front of my videos, but they long since demonetized my channel. I uh, don't, I never got to the reason why they never explained. They just said no. Um, so, yeah, they update their terms of service on the 10th of December. And um, a new line acts as a reminder that the company don't have to keep any videos up that it doesn't want to. YouTube is under no obligation to host or serve content. The new terms of service policy reads. Hmm. It's another way of saying that YouTube is relatively open platform, but it doesn't mean the company is required to keep or upload or keep your videos on there. So you never know. This could actually be Stripey's last video. I hope not. You know, I offer... But be honest with you, I've often thought about it because they used to grief me out quite a lot, YouTube. Um, but I always held out because of you lot, really. <laughs> that is it. That is it. That's why the videos have been a little bit sparse of late as well. Because um, they just beat you down, you know. You're putting on videos. And literally, the things that they moan at when they do tell you what they've done, what I've done wrong. Because I've hardly had any copyright strikes uh, recently. Um, but they just won't, they just won't, and, and I don't know what it is. So, who knows? Who actually knows? So anyway, I'm going to turn on the new amp, and I'm going to play a few songs. Um, yeah, hopefully this won't be the last video, but you never know. You never know. Weird, isn't it? Anyway, right, hopefully I'll be back with another ramble. Real soon. Take care, people.